So here's our first projectile problem. My first step of doing is I'm going to read it carefully and identify what I know. So it says a projectile is launched at 32.1 meters per second in an angle theta of 52.6 degrees above the horizontal. That's the VO and that's the theta. And what I wish to find is the time in the air, the horizontal displacement, and the peak height. So here I go. My first approach to this is I'm going to take the VO and theta, and I'm going to resolve it into its VOX and VOY components. So here's the equation for doing that. When I go 32.1 times the cosine of 52.6, I get the VOX. It's written there, and I do the same thing with the sine function to get the VOY. You see my work is shown. Now I'm going to go about calculating the total time in the air. To do that, I'm going to use the idea that at the highest point, at that location, and you look at the diagram above me, at that location, the Vy value is zero. So I'm going to use this equation right here. Vfy equal V original y plus Ay times t, and the Ay is negative 9.8. So I know when the time is time up, the Vy is zero. So I'm going to substitute that in to my formula. And there you see it rewritten. Now I have a couple of steps of algebra to do to find the time up value. The first step is I'm going to add 9.8t to both sides. So the formula becomes 9.8t up equal 25.5 meters per second. And then the second step is I'm going to divide both sides by, by 9.8. So t up is equal to 25.5 divided by 9.8. And that comes out to be 2.602 seconds. Now that's the time to get to that highest point. Now if the projectile rises up and then rises back down, the time up equals the time to come down. So to find the total time, take the 2.602 and double it. And you end up getting 5.204 seconds as the time in the year. So I have one of my three unknowns determined, t total, but I also have to get dx and dy at the peak. Let's start with dx. If you notice the, the diagram I've drawn uh, above me, we're talking about the horizontal displacement when the total time, when the time is the total time, that is when the time is 5.204 seconds. And here's my formulas, and I want a horizontal formula because I'm finding dx. There's only one to choose from, so it makes the choice easy. I write it down, dx equal vox times t. Then I look for the value of vox. I've calculated that already. It was 19.496. You see it You see it listed here. Now I'm going to take that and multiply by the total time. That's the 5.204 seconds. Do it on your calculator, and when you're done, you get the answer, and it comes out to be 101.46555, blah, 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 blah. And you don't need all 16 digits. There's rules for how many digits you include in your answer, and I would refer to your teacher's rules for that, but typically they are. If you're given three significant digits in the givens, that's how many you're going to put on your answer. So 101 meters suffices for me. Now I have to find the dy at the peak. Now what we're talking about there is, if you refer to the diagram again, is we're talking about the vertical distance when the time is the halfway time, when it's the 2.602 seconds. So here's your equations for calculating, project, for solving projectile problems. And there's three of these vertical equations that have dy in them. Now you can use any one of them, but the one I favor is the one here on the bottom right. So I'm going to write that formula down. Here's why I love that one. Because I happen to know that when the time is time up, that the Vy value is 0 meters per second. So I'm going to take those two numbers, the 2.602 and the 0 meters per second, and I'm going to plug it into this equation here along with the 19.49, or along with the 25.500 for the Voy. And the equation turns to this. Dy at the peak is the inside of parentheses, 25.500 plus 0. Now that means the plus 0 part cancels, and that's why I like this equation. So I'm, I'm really going 25.500 divided by 2 and then multiplying by the t up value of 2.602. Do that on your calculator and when you're done you get 32.2 meters as the height at the peak.